Welcome back, ladies and gents. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make the teleport turret tower. I've raided these in the past and they are very difficult to defeat. So I decided you need to know how to make one too. Let's get to it. First, we're gonna start off with an eight by eight foundation. As you can see, I'm using tech structures, but feel free to use metal instead. Feel free to pause the video and grab you a screenshot. Here's the material list of what we'll be using today. And this probably goes without saying, but this tutorial is geared more towards late game players on PvP servers. Obviously, you won't need one of these if you're playing PvE, nor would you have the resources to build one if you're still picking berries on the beach. But don't worry, your time is coming. Okay, let's get back to the build. All right, as you can see, I left out the middle four foundations. This is going to be where you set your wireless generator, which is what will power this entire tower. All that is left to do is set the wireless generator right in the middle and power it on. All right, set it to maximum range, then place the foundations on top. This will keep it protected if it ever comes under attack in the future. Okay, now that the generator is closed in, if you don't plan on using a tech force field, you can go ahead and place the teleporter down like I'm doing here. However, if you are going to use the tech force field, go ahead and place the force field down first, then the teleporter. If you need to see this demonstrated, I brought along an exomech, and I'll pick up the teleporter in just a moment to show you that method as well. But for now, let's build the walls. I'm using double door frames and we need to build up 10 door frames high. This is important because that's the minimum height you're going to need to get larger tames in and out of this teleporter. Kinda like a giga. So don't forget to leave one side open in the middle like I've done here. Okay, so you wanna be a pro. Well, as I mentioned earlier in this video, you can use the tech force field to add even more strength and protection to this tower. So let's assume you haven't even placed the teleporter down yet and you just finished setting the wireless generator. All you would wanna do is center this force field over the top of the generator and then place your teleporter on top of it all. As you probably already know, when you turn on the force field, it has a five minute delay timer. So while we wait for it to come on, Let's start placing the giant hatch frames and I'll show you how to adjust the force field in just a moment. There's nothing too crazy when setting these hatch frames on top. Just fill in the top so they're all touching. Now just drop down one double door frame and place a second set of hatch frames just like you did on top. This lower layer is where we're going to set the ammo box, plus it just makes the whole tower a little bit more stout. Okay, let me change it to nighttime so you can see this a little bit better. 
Our force field is at max distance, which more than covers this build. Now what I recommend is decrease the range to three. That is the perfect diameter for enclosing just the teleporter. That way your turrets are not obstructed and can still shoot out, but it also protects anything that you teleport into the tower, like tribe mates or even tames. Okay, all that's left to do is set the outer giant hatch frames and set the turrets, but notice I don't place any hatch frames in the corners. I'll cover why this is in just a moment. If you put hatch frames in the corners, it will mess up all of your future snap points. It's a best practice to leave them out and do the corners at the very end. When setting these hatch frames, just skip down every two double door frames as you move around, like I'm doing here. Now we can go back and fill in all four corners. You will have no problems with the snap points. Okay, all that's left to do is set down the turrets. I like to do my turrets every other one, meaning I'll set down a tech turret, then a heavy turret. So you'll see me leaving a space here where I can go back later and set down my heavies. Once you get all your turrets set, don't forget to fill up your ammo box. Now, all that's left to do is unclaim a level 1500 Bronto and test this tower out. He has over 75,000 HP. Well, that's gonna be it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hey, subscribe, leave me a like, let me know what you think about it in the comments. And ladies and gents, I appreciate all of you. And until next time, Dapper Dad out. <laughs>